Last time we spoke to an Alberta school bus company that's moving to electric buses. They also mused about using these buses as virtual power plants. It turns out the idea of feeding power to the grid from electric bus fleets is already in the works. Hello, I'm Rob Sofrato, CEO of Fuse Power Management. and We monetize the value of electric batteries in medium heavy duty vehicles. I own two transportation companies. One's a courier business, Novex Courier, very proud of it. In 2003, we started greening it. We figured out how to do that with the cars. And then West Coast Sightseeing, it's a tour bus company. And I've been trying for six years to figure out how to electrify our entire fleet of 60 buses. Even in these early days of electric buses, there is already much more energy storage in vehicles rolling down the road than on the electricity grid. Rob Safrata wants to electrify his bus fleet, so he started a company called Fuse to generate an entirely new source of revenue for bus fleets. Medium heavy duty buses or trucks have huge electric batteries, uh, 200 to 500 kilowatt hours. And yet, Geotab uh, says that most medium heavy duty fleets, when they go back to base, they've only used 30% of the battery. So that power is very useful, very important to the grid for peak shaving, and will save them over time billions and billions of dollars. Fuse is already working on the second pilot to feed electricity into the British Columbia grid from buses. They're working with BC Hydro that wants 500 megawatts of rolling energy storage to supply peak electricity. Uh, we did a, the first test in Canada a year ago in 23, which it really just with one bus. And they went, OK, this works. We can accept the power. And so now we're doing it with five uh, because they want 40 uh, the year after, and that'll give them two and a half megawatts. Like, Here's how it would work with a fleet of electric school buses. Most school buses don't drive very far every day, and their their schedule is like clockwork. They know that 60% of their fleet are back at the base by five o'clock, five days a week, and then they're sitting around all weekend. So from five o'clock till 10 at night, when the utility needs the peak to be shaved, they can be giving power back to the grid. And this is incredibly valuable. And again, you can count on it again and again and again. Sofrata says Fuse is working on a strategy whereby they would secure long-term energy contracts. By, by creating these long-term contracts, which is what we're doing with BC Hydro to start, I, we can go to a fleet manager and say, okay, that truck or school bus, let's say, costs you $220,000 after all the grants and everything, a diesel one costs you one sixty. dollars We're actually going to give you maybe $80,000, so it costs less than the diesel version. Soprata knows from his own experience with his bus touring company that the biggest barrier is purchase price for electric buses. With this model, the bus companies can now afford electric buses, gain lower operating costs, and Fuse sells electricity from the buses once they park for the day. Then the people ask the question, what about battery degradation? It's the first question, so I might as well answer it right away. In, in controlled tests, which is what happens when you're taking it to a utility versus me driving and going the way I drive like this, which is completely uncontrolled. Um, battery degradation is actually reduced by 10%. There are already two companies creating similar virtual power plants using bus fleets in the U.S. Soon, Canadian bus lines will be able to convert to EVs, gain new revenues, and reduce emissions in transportation. Learn more at greenenergyfutures.com. For Green Energy Futures, I'm David Dodge.